Tensions erupted during a Catholic mass as the Archbishop of Washington, D.C. addressed the clergy sex abuse scandal. A protester interrupted Cardinal Donald Wuerl Sunday as he pleaded for loyalty to Pope Francis. Wuerl has faced calls to resign since a grand jury report revealed abuses that occurred during his time as the head of the Pitts Pittsburgh Diocese. Nikki, Nikki Batiste is following the growing turmoil. Nikki, good morning. Good morning. The heckler was reportedly upset with the Catholic Church's lack of transparency throughout decades of alleged sexual abuse. The disruption came when Cardinal Wuerl asked the congregation to keep Pope Francis in their prayers. After the interruption during his Sunday sermon, Cardinal Donald Wuerl apologized for how he and the Catholic Church handled the clergy sexual abuse scandal. Last month, a Pennsylvania grand jury report found more than 300 Catholic priests abused more than 1,000 children since 1947 in six state dioceses. Worrell was not accused of misconduct, but he did oversee the Pittsburgh diocese during the time several abuses occurred. How does it feel knowing children were sexually abused at the hands of priests under your watch? We're very, very sorry this happened, and that's why we've taken the steps to see that it doesn't go on. The church now faces another hurdle as a former papal ambassador to the U.S. is calling for the Pope to step down. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano alleges Pope Francis willingly took a 2015 meeting with controversial Kentucky clerk Kim Davis, who drew criticism for refusing to issue same-sex marriage licenses. The Vatican has maintained Davis was snuck in by Vigano and the Pope did not know who she was. It is completely unprecedented for an ambassador um, from the Holy See to publicly accuse the Pope of something like this. The Catholic Church normally operates behind closed doors. We never hear about these kinds of controversies. Some supporters of Pope Francis believe Archbishop Vigano represents a conservative sect of the church that doesn't support Pope Francis's emphasis on inclusion of the gay community. In a press release Sunday, Cardinal Wuerl said, increasingly it is clear that the Pope is the object of a concentrated attack. A huge crisis for the church that continues to unfold. Nikki, thank you.